Jacks World 101 back for my 25, my top 25 hats. These are only my flat bills, and I base this this list off of how much I like them, um, and uh, based on how they look. You know, to me, obviously, this is my list of my top 25 hats. My curve bills will not be in this. This will just be my flat bills. So here we go. Starting with number 25 is this Houston Astros Diamond Era hat. I got this hat last time I got paid. Um, I needed one. I plan on getting the orange one uh, Tuesday. I do get paid tomorrow. So, yeah, this is number 25. This is their batting practice slash spring training hat. It's very, very cool hat. It feels good. Uh, I don't know how well you can really see it, but there's an American League embroider or American League diggy right there. But yeah, this is the Astros batting practice slash spring training hat. Number 24 is actually a, uh, a snapback. You know me, I'm not real big on snapbacks. I will wear them, though, you know. I do have snapbacks, ones that look cool to me. So here we go. It's a Superman snapback. You see Man of Steel, the Superman brim, it's pretty cool, I thought, Man of Steel on the back. The only reason this is number 24 is that, you know, it's just, it looks plain, it's a snapback, so yeah. Ready for number 23? Number 23 is an Astros hat. Yes, the Astros are my favorite team. Don't be a hater. Um, anyways. This Houston Astros New Era Genuine Merchandise, very, very soft material. Is they like really soft? Sorry. Very soft material hat. Um, is number 23. Just a really cool hat. Number 22 is yet another snapback, um, primarily because I don't know anybody else. I've never seen an, another one of these, but it is a Little Wayne New Era snapback. Um, you can see Wheezy on the brim. But yeah. That's the prime reason why it's in the top 25. It's only number 22 because it's red and black, you know, just plain. But anyways, yeah. Here's number 21. Number 21 um, is a New York Mets hat. This hat made the list primarily primary because it's just, you know, a classic, cool-looking hat. Um, just, I honestly just like it. It took me forever to find. I tried to get one forever. And just, you know, respect after what the Mets did last season. I was got nothing against the Royals, but I was pulling for the Mets last year considering the Royals took out my Astros on the way to the, to the World Series title. But, yeah, the Mets is number 21, you guys. Number 20 goes to another new era on field. Um, shout out to Mr. Hat Guy. This is your favorite. Oh, shout out to, Mr. to Nick Kumo on the last one. That was his favorite team was the Mets. Shout out to Mr. Hat Guy. This is your favorite team. I, I honestly liked this. At first, I didn't think I would, but the way it looks on my head is just awesome. You know, this is just a cool Nationals hat. Is there alternate? So this is number 20. Number 19 is this Carolina Panthers NFL on field. Um, I like the colors and that panther is just awesome. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm probably wondering why I have a panther's hat. Not only does this hat look cool, but I had got it because this was the team I ultimately thought would win the Super Bowl last year. <laughs> Obviously they didn't. But yeah, um. But I'm obviously going to keep it. It's just, like I said, it's a cool hat. That's number 19. Number 18 is this Transformer Snapback. Uh, just an overall cool hat. As you can see, there's a Transformer under there. I don't know much about Transformers, so I don't know who that Transformer is. So please don't make fun of me. Uh, but yeah.
Like my Lil Wayne hat, I haven't seen another person with one of these yet either. So, yeah. That was number 18. Number 16? Sorry, number 17. Number 17 is the Astros' new alternate hat. It's, you know, their, uh, their alternate hat. It's got the two-tone blue star with the navy blue bill. Um... But yeah, this is number 17. Number 16 is this uh, 2014 UConn Men's Basketball National Champions hat. In college basketball, they have they are by far my favorite in basketball. Football, it's Alabama. Uh, is my favorite. Basketball, UConn is my favorite. In baseball, U of H is my favorite. So yeah. I mean, it's a cool hat. Look at it. You see that UConn, Nike, Final Four. It's a cool hat. See a star under the brim. Awesome hat. Next one should be 15. It is uh, my Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim Cooperstown Collection hat. Just a great hat. Yep. Number 14. Um, PC, a lot of people don't know about this or don't know this about me, but the only Houston team I actually support with my life is the Houston Astros. Not that I don't like the Texans or the Rockets. I love them. They're, but there's teams in football and basketball that I like better. My favorite team in uh, basketball is the Boston Celtics. Um, so, yeah. You see the stay fly embroidered on the side. This is just it's just a cool hat. It's a classic retro green and black hat. Yeah. So that's the reason I have this hat. Number 13 is this Milwaukee Brewers alternate on field. It's just, it doesn't, to me, it doesn't get any more classic than this. This logo is just awesome. This is just an awesome logo. Um, I'm very proud to have this hat. I honestly should wear this hat more. Not at all, nor will I ever be a Brewers fan, but it's still just a cool hat to have. Number um, 12 is this Atlanta Hawks Hardwood Classics Lime Green hat. It's just, it's a cool hat. I got it for $10 on clearance at Lids. It's just, it's awesome. It just, it's, I just think it's cool. It's pretty, it's pretty cool to have one of these. Uh, but yeah, that was number 12. Number 13 is my Texans hat. It wouldn't normally be in here, but it's 13 because of this. J.J. Watt. Embroidered on the side. Um, he is probably by far the greatest, or will be by far, the greatest defensive player that ever lived in the NFL. I'm not biased toward the Texans, like I said. They're not my favorite team. But, yeah. So, this is number 11. Number 10 is another New Era on field. It goes to this Diamondbacks... It's their new alternate hat with the uh, A with the teal around it. I also do have the A with the gold around it, but I just think this one just cooler. But yeah, it makes the top ten just barely. <laughs> I've got a lot of compliments on this new Diamondbacks hat. Is why it's in the top ten. Number nine, you guys. Is this Golden State Warriors Mitchell and S. Kevin Durant snapback? Like I said, I've never ever been a big Mitchell and S. person, but these are just cool hats. It just hats that you know I wanted, so I got them. Number eight goes to the other Mitchell and S. snapback. My Cavs, um, 
Kyrie Irving, Mitchell and Ness. Snapback. This is one I need to wear a lot more. I will. So number seven is this Adidas Rockets fitted. Probably just because of the designs on it. I mean, like I said, it is an Adidas hat, but yeah. Number six is my Memorial Day to my 2015 Memorial Day Astros hat with Jose Altuve on the side. Yeah. So number five. This hat can really be anywhere in the top five, but I, I ranked it at five just because of the way it looks on me. But um, it is this... Cooper's Tower Collection Orioles hat. I think it's just a cool hat. It is like super, super big on me. But you know, it was an opportunity that I couldn't pass up. It is seven and a half, which which normally fits me. But yeah, that is the only reason why it made number five. Number four is honestly a too close to comfort call. This hat could easily be three. But number four is my Houston Rockets vintage New Era uh, fitted. Ace on the side of this old nickname some friends gave me. Number three is just because just the hat it is and just how awesome I, I personally think this hat is. Not big on golf. Not that I hate golf, just not big on it. But this Callaway Golf New Era New Era fitted is number three. It's just a tad small on me. That's why it's, you know, hang on. But yeah, I mean, that's why it's just a little, it looks tight on me. Is because it is, it's just a tad small. Uh, but yeah, it fits a lot better backwards, to be honest. It's number three. Just, it looks cool. So two and one was a very hard decision, but number two is my Jess World 101 hat that I got custom made at Lids. I mean, as you can see, it's Lids brand and everything. Hashtag Jeff Squad on the side. Shout out to all of Hashtag Jeff Squad. I just thought I would mention that real quick, but yeah. So I think it's pretty cool that I got my YouTube channel name on a hat. That's just pretty awesome to me. And finally, the number one hat. My favorite hat. A lot of people probably already know what this hat is. It's just got very much sentimental value to me. Here it is. My number one favorite hat is my Astros. postseason hat just this thing's always been like my favorite hat ever since I got it and it's probably always gonna be for a while but yeah um I hope to soon turn this into a uh, a World Series hat but thank you guys for watching um, stay fly YouTube, Jess World 101 out. I'll see you guys later. Have a great one.